What is going on, my lovely ladies and gentlemen of the world? Oh, I am just reminded. I actually wanted to uh, check something. Oh, no. Stuff is dropping all around me, hitting the floor. But we didn't want stuff hitting the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Um, here's what I wanted. Display option. Oh, they don't have. Oh, shit. They don't, you can't adjust it anymore? Like, they don't have a type A, type B shit? That, that's gone? So I guess, okay, fuck it. Because it kind of looked like when I was kind of glancing at the capture, it seemed like the, um... You see that? It seems like the HUD's kind of like really... Really cl I guess it is actually, because look at that. It goes actually over through the top of the screen. But I cannot adjust it left or right. Is that the same on the ca- It is the same on the capture. And it, that means it would not matter. Interesting. Well, fuck it. That's good enough for me, I suppose. But, like, I remember, you know, they used to have type A, type B, type C, which allowed you to change exactly what uh, it looked like. And I was thinking, oh, maybe it's something with my TV, but my TV would not affect... The display of how my TV looks would not affect the capture in any way, shape, or form. So that's irrelevant. Anyway, hi! We're gonna hop in with some Unlimited Mars uh, real quick. And... This is, so, I want before I hop in, obviously you see me not clicking, I wanted to talk about a couple things. One of the reasons why I was so angered uh, by the status of the demo and how I had to pre-order and pay for before you know the game's even out a full version of the game that I did not want, it being the digital version, um, was because I really was thinking, I was going to try to stream. I was going to kind of see how stable a stream of offline content was first um and really get an idea of the quality that i could get while kind of using a minimal amount of resources in order to get that quality and then see if it was in any way possible using again kind of a minimal amount of bandwidth to stream once i know once i can see that that's stable that i'm not dropping anything that everything's looking good and it is at least a respectable quality, then could I hop online and do the same thing? Will it just murder every connection I can possibly have, make it zero bars across, you know, across the board and just destroy everything? Or will I still be getting respectable connections while having respectable stream quality? If I can have both of those at the same time, I might start streaming. But I needed to start somewhere. And so I was thinking, Central Fiction, I'm gonna get the demo. It has unlimited Mars. Let's stream that. Let's check it out. It'll allow me to learn the Central Fiction versions of these characters. Maybe it'll even, you know, I can work on, since the two, like, quote-unquote new characters I'm most interested in are Habiki and Mai. Mai's not gonna be there, so I might be able to spend a little time, you know, pre-Mai, learning Habiki. See if I actually like him. You know, I've kind of, as time's gone on, my interest in him has waned a little bit, but... He's the only new character that I'm really interested in aside from Mai. Um, and so maybe I could spend some time learning him. And then, you know, I come across the demo. Oh, no, you can't do this unless you commit to purchasing the digital version. Cool. So that kind of just destroyed all of those plans. So that's where a, a piece of the frustration came from was because it ruined those plans completely. Um, but so I'm just starting out here letting you know why I'm talking about all this. I'm going to do that with this game. Um, obviously I'm not doing it now. When I do go live, I will tweet about it. I will put a post up. So, if you have not followed me and you're potentially interested in that, there is a link to it in the description box. Follow me and I will start posting, hey, going live so you can check it out. Um, and then also, Spirits Rise. You said you should post on Twitter when you are going live. Or not when you are going live, but when you're playing online, you'd probably find some matches that way. I'm gonna start doing that too, cause let me actually check. So the one thing I actually don't really like, um, but it's fine. I can just I. Anyway, let me talk about it first before I talk about the process. Doing this, this initialization thing, and then I hop over here, <laughs> and I search. Okay, well that that kind of ruins everything. <laughs> but let's pretend, let's pretend that this was filled out incredibly well. There were 27 rooms here, within the first like two minutes of me initializing online. It will display all of the connections. I can look and I can see what all of my connections to the hosts of the rooms are and all that good shit. 
so I can understand what I'm getting into. After those two minutes, for whatever reason, it just stops displaying connections for me. Let me actually see, are there anybody, is there anybody in the lobby place? Nine people. Um, but that one takes forever to get to connections, I'm not actually going to show that. But yeah, for player matches specifically, again, like within the first, within the first couple of minutes, it will display connections, and then after that, it just stops displaying them. I don't know why it does that, I don't know what causes that, but that's just how it is. Um, why did I come over here to say that? Why was I saying that? I have no idea why I was getting into that. Anyway, my point being, uh, instead of like searching for other people's lobbies, searching for other people to play, if I post up, you know, I'm playing, I'm live, come see me on Twitter, I will open up an open free for all room, meaning that, you know, there's no spectate. Well, I think you can still spectate, um, but I can just play. I can just sit there, you know, even if it's a full eight person room, I play a match. I get out of that match, I play another match. That's what I want to do when I play fighting games. I want to play. Spectating, not really my jam. I don't enjoy it all that much. Um, so I will. I would open an eight-person open free-for-all room, and just, you know, whoever comes first gets there. Whoever plays me, plays me, such as life. Uh, and that's what I'll do from now on. So if you're interested in that as well, please make sure you follow me, and I will be, again, posting about that on Twitter. So, first things first. That's right, I'm adding bullet to the itinerary. It's okay. I'm gonna lose basically. So the reason I'm gonna pick course C with bullet, course A with Azrael, course D with Tager. And uh, the reason for that, I am committed to, I have not, I've done, I mean, I've only done like three runs with bullet prior to this, but I've never beaten Talkaka. I cannot beat Talkaka, not with bullets neutral, so I need to beat her. And so the course A with Azrael is just because that's the one I'm most likely, at, other than this one. That is the one I am most... What the hell the fuck did I get 6B? I was not holding 6. Ooh. I could have gotten a level off of that. Probably could have gotten a better combo than that. Definitely could have gotten an ender there. What? I wasn't expecting that. What, what the hell kind of... Please, somebody, feel free to try and explain. What the hell? God! Forget about beating Salkaka. I'm not even gonna beat Bang. Jesus! What is the matter with me? Shit, I, could, I actually could have killed him off of that. Oh, no. Of course. Of course. Those nails, oh nope, they're gone. Ah, oh, damn it, I'm sad that see what the fuck? What? Okay, cool, we good. Uh, I'm sad that C went through because I hit A, B, C, and then like after this, I confirmed after that. Oops, I don't know why I just did that, it worked, we're okay. But yeah, I hit 6B afterwards, but the C was already coming out? Ow! What the fuck? So I really need to figure out if this actually works from this side. Yeah, see that happened. I cannot get it. To oh Jesus, I didn't even notice he was airborne. That's my fault. Not getting an ender there. That's my fault. I don't know. Ah, oh, fuck. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Does that work? Cool. So that's what I tried to actually do. I tried to confirm. Because I'm not sure... How to confirm that mid-screen off of an actual combo? I bet you could do... Hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know, because obviously she has three different follow-ups that you can do. You can do the regular either 5D, 6D, or 2D follow-up, which gives you that wall bounce that I did. Miculette Capture, which gives you a mini wall bounce, which I don't think would work because I, it doesn't send them back full screen like the regular 5D was. It would definitely work in the corner. You get that wall stick. And I'm fairly certain it works after 6A too, so you could 6A Astral after the wall stick either way um and i feel like it would work off of 623b off of the follow-up to that but i'm not sure i don't actually really know 100 percent whether or not things work it's all just you know, postulation at this point how did that miss what the fuck that's 
so obnoxiously safe. That is a hit confirm I'm slowly getting used to. I'm so not used to, uh... Damn it, I fucked up. Is that a bowling ball? What is that? Oh. That's why her overdrive doesn't do that. She still has that super. Okay. Was that an was that an extent? No, it wasn't. Oh my god. How did I just I split the D right there, baby? And then I just got bodied. Can I kill off of this? I thought that would work. That definitely didn't work. Maybe I would have to do... Hmm. I'm not sure what I would do off of that, actually. Okay, that was a bad idea. I can't believe that hit. Holy shit. Like, you even saw... What the hell? How did she get... Whatever. I, ha I, get I can get better than that. I think I can get a jump... Like, a full jump loop off of that if I do it properly. But I'm just... I'm so focused... What am I doing? Shit. Shit. I thought I wasn't sure when that was going to go off. Damn it. That, uh... I need to get used to it. So, like, for Tager, the reaction to that overhead is to do 2A. But that hops over bullets 2A. And so I keep reacting to it with 2A, but that doesn't work. Not with bullet. Also, I really need to get used to doing this. I keep going straight into Mikulet capture off of it. Damn, if I had let that dash go. What the? Oops, that was stupid of me. God damn it. Wow, okay, let's not use that mid-screen ever again. That. So I think I can get a jump loop off of that, but I'm so focused on just ensuring that I, um... Oh, dear God. Am I close enough? No, I wasn't. Okay, I want to figure this out. Is this gonna work? Hell yeah, that's good to know. Um, but yeah, off of the an air to air JC counter hit used to cause a ground bounce, so you used to be able to confirm it differently. And so I'm so used to just seeing, oh, I got a JC counter hit. Now I confirm into this, but that confirm does not work when it just smashes them into the ground. You have to confirm. I think you might be able to go immediately into 6B, but I confirm. I do 2B, 6B. But I'm pretty sure you can get a jump loop after that rather than doing what I'm doing where I just do 2B, 6B, JB, JC, JD. Like, that's, I don't think that's a good confirm of that particular move. Alright, what do I do about this? What do I do about this? Somebody tell me. Like, what do I do about a 5,000 times better version of this character? That. What do I do? Like, everything Bullet can do is beaten by that. Shit, she's too high. What am I doing? Why did I do that? She ducked under it. Wow! What? Shit! This is what I'm talking about. What do I do? I need to stop doing that. Could've gotten a much better combo. It's okay, I think I can kill her. If she gets hit, she didn't get hit. So now we have a problem. Now we have a huge fucking problem. God damn it. If I got one more hit there, she would have been dead. But I didn't get one more hit. Oh, that sucks. Oh, yeah, because she has the old JC. To, or not JC, 5C. So if you don't know what happened to that particular move, it's the move where she kind of runs forward and... What the fuck? That move right there. God damn it! Apparently I just need to spam that too, I guess. Can you confirm? That didn't combo? Are you serious? 
shit! I did that too late. I knew I did that too late. I fucked that up really badly. Alright, we're gonna run this all the way back. All the way back, bitches. We're not gonna run this all the way back. I fucked up. God damn it, I really need to solidify that combo. So I wanna do 6C after that, get the, uh, basically cross under using 6C. And then you throw them back into the corner and you get you get your heat up. So you spend your level 2 heat, but then you get level 2 heat back. Like, that's so important for momentum with Bullet. But anyway, 5C. It used to just be, like, it was just a move. Like, 5C was it. But now you actually, you hold down the button and it charges. And so the charged version is the same version as the old one. Uh, the not charged version is less good. Like, you get a little bit less damage off of it. You get, um, if you counter hit with it as a starter... You only get a regular counter hit versus the charged version is a fatal counter. I think it's just, you know, better frame data in general. I mean, in terms of, like, block stun or hit stun, it's just better in that regard as well. So it's a better version. I need to get used to using it instead of just always pressing 5C and not charging. But I haven't really played this version of Bullet very much. I was... I really only played... Is that close now? Oh, damn it! Is this gonna work? Oh, okay, well, it's definitely not gonna work if I don't fuck it. That worked? I can't believe that worked. That hurt. Damn it, I gotta work on my. That was a fatal counter, and she got more blocks done than I did. Bullshit. Not okay. Can I just get a free? Yep. Damn it. What? Help! Help! Yes! 5A the god! I definitely need to use Asriel's A moves more. They're actually really good. They're probably his best moves. Everybody always focuses on all his other ones, and I think they really underestimate just how strong his A buttons are. Help. Help. God, I just tried to bury her, but I know, like, I noticeably separated the buttons. Are you... F I cannot believe that. I'm clearly... I'm very tired. I'm more tired than I thought, apparently, because I'm doing stupid... Like, that time when I tried to bury her, and I... Like I said, I noticeably hit the buttons at different times, which caused me to not get barrier. Oh my god. And then that time I, uh... What did I even do? I can't, I can't remember at this point. God damn. What did I do? I've already forgotten what I meant to do. First, so I guess that really highlights just how tired I actually am. Nope. Now gonna hit me? Nope. What was I trying? I like I've already forgotten. It's unbelievable that I've already forgotten. Fuck it. Also, when I landed that Valiant Charge, I didn't press a button until I was, like, a second into it. <laughs> Which means I would not have had even close to enough time to land four or five Cs. Okay, just don't tech, that's cool. I think that would have actually, like, not blue beat it if I had just done it. But I wasn't sure it was gonna work. Overhead, God damn it. Wait, I've already done that. I'm an idiot. God damn it. My instant- Oh, that's what I tried to do. I tried to instant block and I just got kicked in the fucking face. At least I'm finally hit confirming crouch combos again into 3C instead of just always auto-comboing 5BB. 
The other thing I need to work on. Oops. Not getting hit by random bullshit. God damn it. That was not what we wanted. Help. 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 Am I close in the no? Not even. Not even. Moderately close. Oops. Oh, which is gonna win? Neither! Well, I mean, technically, the burst definitely won because he recovered a hell of a lot faster. God damn it. I should really be doing Route B with Azrael now that I think about it. Because, I mean... Shit, man. Drop the hell out of that, help. I cannot believe I actually just reacted to a... To a crush count. Back the fuck up, bitch! Why was my JB? I think it would have won. It didn't come out. Oh my god, if that had actually been a combo. Fuck you, you... Alright, here we go. The run back. All Z-Va back. Oh, shit. No, I didn't get the jump cancel. Oh, damn it. What I get? I was supposed to be jump cancel JB, but I got 5 BB instead. God damn it. But yeah, because I've already beaten Path A. Have I? I'm pretty sure I've beaten both Path A and... Um... Too early. Or I waited too long to use 5B, and so they were too high afterwards. It's like right there. This is not. Dead Dead, please. I already forgot. Like, what was I gonna talk about right there? I already forgot. I know. I know. I wanted to say something, but I've already forgotten what. Help! I just did six of those. I'm a fucking idiot. Six of those definitely does not. Oh my god! That whiff punish. That actually hit! I cannot believe that just traded. Holy shit, Azreal's 5B, ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> that reaction, though! Oh my god, this is about to do 5K. Woohoo! <laughs> I did 5.5K! Oh my god, I'm dead! What was that? That's not fair. God damn it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've beaten Path A and Path C. I think I beat Path A with Tager. I wish I knew. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I beat Path A with Tager and I beat Path C with Asriel. I know I have not beaten Path D because the only way, if you look at this real quick, the only way to fight Unlimited Ragna, who's number 10 right there, is in Path D. He's not in any of the other ones. And I'm 99% sure I have never fought Unlimited Ragna. Um... But this one I'm not sure on either, because I got to Rachel, and I lost to Rachel. I think that was, that was I believe I recorded that one. And I kind of remembered, like, I don't think I've ever fought Unlimited Rachel either. So that would, we can assume I have not finished Path B, because look, like, that is just goddamn. Is that not fun? <laughs> this one's the easiest. And then this one, and then I would actually say this one's probably easier than this. It depends on how beastly Ragna is. Well, like I said, I've never gotten to Ragna, but I haven't really done Path D. The wheel of fate is turning. Even one action. Oops! I don't know why the fuck I just did that. 
Help, help, that's dirty! That's dirty too, fucking low ice cars. Did he just cross me under? With a goddamn ice car? That was supposed to be a 360! Help, nope, didn't work. I absorbed some of it! <laughs> Part of me was really hoping I might just be able to armor the entire thing. But that that didn't happen. All off of one mistake. All off of one. Oh shit, that didn't work. All off of one fucked up 360B. Oh my Jesus, I didn't even see the purple. Oh my god, that's not fair! That's not fair either! He backed up! This is bullshit. Cool! 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 No! Yes! No! I'm gonna, I'm gonna ice car straight in, thank you for that. God damn it, all of the fuck ups. All of them. Help. No, you never start with Ice Car. Why did I do that? It's not worth it, because I don't get magnetism. No, my dick froze. No, all the Ice Cars, they're unstoppable. Wasn't that actually a thing? Back in, um... God, I tried to sledge. Cool! Awesome! Oh my god, that actually- I can't believe that hit. I was so certain. But that was not going to hit. Oh! <laughs> what am I doing? What the fuck did I just do? No! Please! No, please! Thank god he doesn't have meter. Help! Yes! Thank the Lord Almighty above! For he smiles upon me this day! <laughs> Jesus, man! This is too stressful! This is too much! That's fucking frightening! Yo, like, legit, I mean, even if the person, like, doesn't have an actual plan, is there anything, like, more intimidating than somebody just fucking overdriving out of nowhere? Like, you have to imagine, surely there's a plan behind this, right? There's a reason for it. Shit, I forgot. Ha! Oh, I thought I was godlike for a second. I started with that, didn't Yeah. Didn't. God damn it. Is she in? I don't actually- Oh well, it doesn't matter now. Fuck that- Ah, oh, of course that ate my goddamn sparkle. Okay, yeah. Not good! She doesn't- Okay, well she bursted anyway. That got a little worrisome for a second. Wasn't sure what was about to happen. God damn it. What?! Help. Help. It's okay now. No! Magnetism wore off. And I'm just gonna let her out of the corner for free. No biggie. I'm not even gonna draw her back in because I suck. What the fuck am I doing? Everything's gone wrong. Thank you. Please? Good. I always think, like, maybe I did that a bit too late, and they're just gonna, like, fall right in front of me, and I try to grab them, but thankfully, I got it.
Oh shit, should have charged that a little bit. Help, help. Thank god that didn't actually reach me because like I noticed it, but not in time. I definitely, if that had been close enough to hit me, it definitely would have hit me. Oh my god, that was perfect. Stop! Beating my- okay. I'm not gonna stop. She's actually not gonna stop. She's- what is this spacing? Like, this is professional- fuck, I didn't mean to roll there. Damn it. I thought I was gonna tech earlier, so like, I tried to tech and then hold down back. But, unfortunately, I teched later than expected, and I rolled. Dude. Like, she's actually doing everything perfectly. Literally perfectly. What the fuck? Uh oh. Past it! We're gone! We're not gone! <laughs> Shit! Told you. Fucking perfect. Dude, perfect. Like, I've actually never. I've never seen this degree of. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Just I guess that just never works. I guess that's the way I have to treat that. What? Are you serious? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, legitimately? That pretty much could not have gone worse for me. She made almost everything whiff. The things she didn't whiff, she just beat in like rock, paper, scissors scenarios. This will beat that. That will beat, you know, this, that kind of thing. And... It just, it went wrong for me. At every point that something could have gone wrong for me, it went wrong. <laughs> Damn, that is brutal.